See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Frank, plenty of scoring opportunities in the early portion of this golf course. We're now at a par five, the third hole, and it's only 528 yards. You can see why we're going to see a lot of people perhaps being three under through the first three holes, Rich. This uh, par five bending to the right, very reachable. You just keep uh, that tee shot nice and high off the tee. Let it carry as far as possible. Good spot right there. Send a cut. Frank, he appears to be in control of his game in the early going. I like what I'm seeing out there. Doing all the basic things at a very, very high level. Getting the ball in play. That helps set up the next shot. Next shot gets on the green. That's how it sets up the birdie putt. It's one thing leading to another. And this is looking really good. Crucial eagle attempt on the way. Just want to nestle this one down to within a couple of feet. Looks like he just misread that. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Is that better? Can you hear me now? shot to get the birdie. Hello, Frank, when you play Bam, hey. you, you get some of these wow moments where you um, stand on the tee and you say, ooh, look at this. This. <laughs> this, is one, yeah, this is one of them, Rich. Yeah, that, the elevation time, change yeah. from tee to green is, uh, is quite dramatic. Consequently, you're going to have to club down a little. At least two clubs um. shorter than what that yardage says on the card. Shot right here. Oh, what? Oh. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Made a par in his previous round. This time it's for birdie. And the bridge stain balls. Yeah. We haven't seen a whole lot of that, Frank, but that has to feel good. Back on the tee here at Banff Springs, fifth hole, 424 yard par four. What's the setup here, Frank? Well, it's very tempting to try and hit a draw because uh, that's the way in which the hole is shaped. But, uh, the, main, the main goal is to make sure that you can take that second bucket, the one on the left side, out of play with that tee shot. Good contact, good result. He just blasted that one down the fairway. Out there about 325 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Yeah. Get down. Get down. Oh, oh. How'd you like that strike? Uh, <laughs> that was top of the tree. And getting ready for the putt. Not 
So into the top 15 on the leaderboard with that birdie. A few more, and who knows, maybe top 10 or top 5. Frank, as we arrive here at the par 4 sixth hole, reasonably short at 373 yards. A lot of golfers arrive at a, a hole like this and they'll think, well, I'm just going to blast it away because it's such a short four. Do you think these kinds of holes require a little more thinking? They certainly do, Rich. If you can't drive it to the front edge of the green, there's no point really trying to hit it through that narrow neck. You can just sort of knock a three wood down there or something that's going to give you a decent oh, yard no, no, no. where you can at least spin that second shot. If you can guarantee that ball's going to stop when it lands, uh, it's going to be much easier than trying to fashion some sort of pitch and run. Oh, beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets them in the top ten. Now to the second <laughs> part five on this opening <laughs> nine. Is. Frank, this well, is a pretty long hole, ones. 602 yards. Well, it's called hoodoo. Do you know what hoodoo means? It means bad luck, actually, so you don't really want to be thinking about that on this tee shot. 602 <laughs> yards if you belt one off the tee. Well, you might have looked at that. <laughs> Can't ask for much more here at the seventh. He has hit a good one. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. This has been a tee to green clinic. Absolutely perfect. Everything coming <laughs> off the center of the club face. <laughs> everything in regulation. It's that sneaky distance. Hold on, maybe yeah. there is a chance for the win. That yeah. eagle moving the player into the top 10. Just when we're focused at the top of the leaderboard, there's a lot of movement there in the middle of the field. Frank, you like this kind of design feature where you go from the longest hole in the course immediately to the shortest hole. Certainly, golf giveth and golf taketh away. Uh, this is just minimally uphill, just a couple of feet, but you can see from the overview the design of the green. And that flag's on the right, it's a little bit of a longer carry, so just be a little cautious oh. in that. You don't have to hit it directly at the flag. Uh, That's well played. Now a good look at birdie. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. This can be a cruel game at times. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. Doesn't dig into the lead with that yeah, par, but Frank, guy. sometimes yeah. you know this as well as anyone, you just have to kind of maintain your well, footing you out there. To that, yeah. So we'll round out the front side here at Bamp Springs with a par five and reasonably short at only 501 yards. So very reachable because of that yardage that you just referenced. Hole bends a little bit to the right. You can favor the left side with a tee shot. It's just going to make that angle on the second a little bit easier. That's an absolute tracer right there. In the fairway, and well over 320 yards. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot. Big swing right there, and a great result. And now a chance for a big swing in momentum with an eagle coming up. Hey. Wow, and with that eagle, Frank, now only two shots back. And all of a sudden put the name back into the mix just when we thought it might be too late. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Oh. 
making up for an hour away. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different <laughs> angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Out of the 11th hole, it's a par four, 417 yards. Frank, what's the key here? Um, a nice little draw down that left side would be the ideal tee shot. To, uh, the carry on the two yeah, yeah, little bunkers yeah. down the left side really isn't thing. overly long. Oh. But, uh, that's the desired entry into the screen. Oh, Not the best shot, this one in the rough, but still oh. we'll have a play from there. <laughs> this is a shot from 115 yeah. yards. Frank, we were commenting earlier in the day that this round had really gone wrong. Are, are you surprised that he's been able to put it back together? I oh, certainly am. It, it lost his composure, his rhythm. So, really, to be playing this well so quickly after that, um, you know, tip your hat. Always a chance in this game. <laughs> On the green, Hello. looking at a birdie Hello, opportunity. Five. Little redemption yeah, chance shoulder. here had bogey It'll yesterday. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. It helped me get a birdie anyway, so thank you. All right, on to the 12th hole, 442 yard par four. What do you like about this hole, Frank? Just a nice par four that sort of bends to the player's right. A lot of people will just stand up here, grab the driver. I don't really think you have to do that, Rich. Hold on, something short or down that left side. You're only going to have a short iron in a few seconds. Sorry. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Did you say sorry, I gave him a kiss? Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Ooh. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Right. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Birdie try again here today. Oh. Well, you're looking at yeah. Has it? That's birdie. <clears throat> Thirteenth hole, par three, two hundred twenty-five yards, and heavily bunkered around that green, Frank. It is, but that green gets narrower as the hole gets longer. Um, nothing wrong with hitting the ball sort of the middle part of the green here. Yeah? I'm reminded of what an old caddy used to say about the great Lanny Watkins. He was on fire. <laughs> oh, no, the woman the flag hit, stick from that man. I know I hit some These bump. putts keep the round together. You'd like that one again. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Virtually no error in that putting stroke. Good putt. No. <laughs> Not at all, no. Well, <laughs> Back here at the par 4, well, 14th, and then? we are ready to tee off. 442-yard hole, Frank. It's called Wampum. Uh, my Canadian's not that good, so I don't know what that means, but the way I decipher it, another little dog leg to the right with bunkers all over the place. It's sort of in the, in the place where you'd like to hit the tee shot is exactly where that crop of, what is that, five bunkers down the left side. So you're going to have to somehow squeeze it just right of that. Um, very awkward tee shot. Yeah. So sorry that I hit you the ball. In the ball. <laughs> that is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Ten foot putt left. Changing the ball. <laughs> yes. Putting on a show this tournament needs to 15 under par. 
Well, now the par fours begin to stretch out a little bit. The 15th here, Frank, is 475 yards. Certainly want to put your big shoes on here. Nice bit. He's going for a little extra. Yeah. This could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at one. it. This one, this one, the big boy. Yeah. Good tee shot, good lie. Now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. Yeah. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. Well, that would have been a bonus <laughs> had it gone in, but still, as much as you do. reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. That's good work. That's good par right there. Moving on to number 16 now. It's a par four, 414 yards. And Frank, uh, what are we looking at here? It's another hole that'll favor a nice sort of high draw off the tee. It'll set up that second shot to a green that uh, has got several different levels on it. Pretty good drive here. Another I'm straight one. Good strike, good lie, I good chance to attack the pin. Frank, why are great rivalries so important? Why do we love them? I think because people like to uh, sit on one side of the fence. You're either for or against a great player. And I think we see that today with Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy. There's the McIlroy fans that think his future is so bright. There's the Woods fans that still want him to pass Jack Nicklaus's record. That's the beauty. You've got to have an opinion, and you have to have a player. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Getting set now over the putt. Uh, well, you can see he's it. just disgusted with that effort. He hi? needs this for bogey. <laughs> That's a bogey, but still in the lead. Where we start to see shots in hand really valuable. Just two holes left here at Banff Springs, and Frank, another par four. This one uh, short, 374 yards. It is. It's, it's named Sasi, which is a tribute to the Indian tribes here uh, in the First Nations of, uh, of Canada. So uh, just think about that when you're teeing it off here on, on what is not an overly difficult par four. Beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. Oh, what did you hear? Just a perfect drive here at 17. Oh, no, this has left him a good look at this hole. Kick his fucking ass if he did. Oh, get down. Look out. It's over. The green. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? And this will be a five-foot putt here. Well, he's doing it from now the window. Uh, Good putt. For the game. Here we are at the yeah, 18th at Bam yeah, Springs, 578-yard par 5. Frank, did you like to finish a round with a par 5? Certainly if I could birdie it, that's for sure. Um, and there's a good chance here at 18 you can, but uh, there's bunkers galore. The They're all in play uh, is, for man, various standards so. of play. But the reward is if you can pump one down the middle of the fairway there and then you reduce this par 5 to simply a drive and an iron. Well, it does it, so it gets away with it, but... He has just hammered this drive here at the 18th, and now he is in a really good position to make a birdie here in the final hole. Surely not. 
That was just a gutsy shot right there and a good look at Eagle coming up. Such sneaky distance. Well, we can deny you know, it. As they say, 300 we, yard you know, drive, one shot. We won't make this it a short all. one, also one shot. Yeah, that's painful. Hey, that's how we do it. Say, you know, I'll, I'll get them part of Oh, yeah, yeah, he's made it for a birdie. Say that. We might do it again. And that wraps up the third round. Just one more to go before we crown our champion. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm looking at my crystal ball, Rich, but uh, that champion that we see tomorrow might be the one just sitting at the leaderboard uh, on top of it right now. Well, I can't do it in a minute. Yeah, well, okay, but I've got enough problems of my own, but I can't, you know, the next time I do speak to Emma, I know it's not related to what happened, but I will speak to her so she can speak to the, uh, um, obviously, neighborhood watching um, team. Because she does the um, city centre one, so I think in the, uh, in the cover, um, obviously, in way, so. <clears throat> Why? Because he's, he's thinking great, I've got away with it. Something, something needs to be done. Something needs to be done to protect it now. Would, would uh, Thingy now? Um, would Nelson now? He might be able to help us, or 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 his Mrs. Charlotte they might to help us. <clears throat> now, can you believe me now that he picks his? Well, yeah, and then he'll probably get hurt, and that won't be our fault. But seriously, try and have a word with Nelson or something. He might be able to help us. I can understand why I did what I did now, can't you? Because I'm fucking tired of it. This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. I'm not asking to sort it. Today is the to final round out. of the Alberta He's Classic. He's helping this situation. Par 3, 13th, it's 225 yards. Frank, you happy walking out of here with the three? Yeah, take a three, go to the next hole, unless it's match play. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. That's one of the more depressing sights in golf. You've hit a good one, and then it just sucks back too much spin off the green. Dude, that. Yes, yes, that's a birdie. One back. We are it. on. About the dog shit. <laughs> Under the 14th hole now. It's a par four, 442 yards. And what's the right way to attack here, Frank? Two choices. Try and squeeze it down the right side, uh, just short of those 
big bunkers on the right. Either that or carry the bunker complex on the left. A little awkward. Oh, but he's getting, he's getting beyond the joint, man. You see what I mean? He's getting beyond the joint. And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. That will be a great look at Birdie. Pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. That was a nice birdie, and no doubt he's feeling pretty good about his position on this leaderboard. A series of good holes in a row has got him to this point. Frank, looking out here on the 15th hole, th this looks like a spot where you could really crank one that you could tell your buddies about. It's another hole that suits a player that hits the ball right to left. It's no surprise to uh, see why Rory McIlroy plays well around here. Nice, big, high-towering draw. It's going to go that extra yardage because of the elevation. Well, a hard hole after that tee shot has now become an easy hole. It's the great equalizer when you can drive the golf ball, Frank, just like that. Wade opens up so many avenues, and he'll have plenty to choose from here. Looks good. Chance to make a birdie. Hmm. to the 15th green, but looking at a tough putt, considerably long, over 25 feet away. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Looks like par may not be good enough to get the job done here. Yeah, big change in the top of the leaderboard. Get another birdie, so it pushes him back to second. Frank, the 16th hole, 414 yards, par four is nicknamed Goat. Would, would that be greatest of all time, or is it just because the possibility you, you could see old Billy out there here in the Canadian Rockies? Uh, I'd like to think it's the, uh, the greatest of all time. Uh, I've never seen a goat hit a draw, that's why, and that's what's needed off this tee once again. The first bunk, you should easily be able to carry that, and, uh, well, if you're the greatest of all time, this is a fair weight, you'll certainly hit. He has put himself in an excellent position with a beautiful tee shot, and now a good look at the green. Good swing, good shot yet again. Not terrible, but not his best. <laughs> An outside it, chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie. Yeah, but, but if, um, you actually, really, if you actually... It's um, a, a rather poor approach shot. Read into it. All right. We, we know who he is. All right. And it's disabled for him. Right? And we're getting pulled here. So we Looks like he just misread that. Targeting us because of our disability. And getting right. ready for the putt. Well, when you see that. I can see that. Well, Frank, you hear it so often. This is a game of dealing with your miscues. That's the beauty of this game of golf. Uh, you give it, and it taketh away. Ouch. We really can't afford to give away shots at this point in the tournament, Frank. Down to the 17th, 374 yards, and Frank, players might be licking their chops here. They certainly would, no, Rich. Bunkers left mean, and right, but they can be far. carried with an aggressive tee shot. And it'll set up just a short on into a green that pitches towards you. Um, so maybe just a little bit underneath the flag for the second shot. Really a chance to uh, have a fast finish. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. Nice long tee shot there and a good lie, Frank. 
Yeah. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. What a display of shot making this has been, Frank. Oh, that incredible approach shot there. No the good. easiest of birdies coming up. Oh, what did you do that for? That is some good work right there. Birdie and one good shot birdie. closer to the lead. He's been warm before. Right. And he's doing it again. Well, Big Frank, this sets up for an exciting finish here at Bam Springs. Before, a 578 right? yard par five. It's, it's just about a bunker and play for and every length of tee shot here. So know exactly which one you can carry and exactly which one you cannot reach. Not the best shot, this one in the rough, but still will have a play from there. Frank, out of the rough, best to swing a little bit easier or get after it with all you have. Well, a little bit in between. Obviously, it's going to require a little bit of strength to make sure that club keeps going through, but it's still the planning of the shot. Once again, check short. Or is there anything I have to carry? And even remember, there's always the option of just simply pitching the ball down the fairway and taking your medicine. So from the rough back to the fairway, that's the right way to go. Yeah, didn't take the bait. At least now, he's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. Well, that's how you play the game, right there. And not do it as much, but still do it and get and get. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for Birdie. We can't. Oh, that birdie has to feel even better, Rich, with everything so tight at the top. Right in the middle of a Donnybrook at this point. That has to feel so good. A big because championship he victory. What he's doing is wrong. You know, how it, how it affects people. That's why you do it. You know. <clears throat> well, one day you will. Because one day it lend them up, it lend, it lend up, you know inside if he's not careful for um, harassment ah, top hundred Well, it's true. You know, can't be idiots all his life, surely. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go anyway. I'll uh, I'll speak to you later. I'll, um, I'll speak to you later. I'll speak to you later, babe, anyway. Love you.